Hey, future badass business owners, welcome back to the Start a Small Business Podcast, where each episode we'll be walking you through the process of getting your small business from concept to open for business. Now, I just want to do a small episode here about if you're planning to buy someone else's business because there's some things that you need to make sure that you look at before you just buy someone's business. It's really easy to get excited about buying someone's business. A lot of times you've either used this business, you're friends with them, they're telling you, hey, I'm, I'm thinking about selling my business. Do you want to buy it? And you're like, oh my God, I hate my nine to five job. I would love to buy your business. And you've watched the fact that they make good money and you're like, oh, I can totally take on this business or I totally see what they're doing wrong. I can take this business to the next level. There's a lot of emotions that kick us into wanting to buy someone's business. And we think, oh, I can make a lot more money than what they've ever made and I can take it to the next level. All of this may be true. But what you probably don't know are the numbers behind the business. We've talked a lot about numbers. It's important that before you buy anybody's business, that you sit down and you look at their books. Please make sure that you go back and you look at not only the last few months, but look at the last year, the year to date, the year before that, whatever history they have, you need to make sure that you look at it. Because here's the thing you need to keep in mind. You want to look at two parts to things. Remember, there's the employee you and there's the business owner you. They might be making good money, but is it because it's all employee money that they're making? The value of that business is based off of, are you planning to buy it as a job for yourself or do you plan just to run it? Because if you have to hire someone to replace the person you're buying it from to do the job that they do, then honestly, the value of that business is really off of the profits of that business, not off of the employee piece of that business. Because really that's the value of a business is all of its products, its its uh, ingredients, its equipment, its trucks, its whatever values of physical things they have, plus the profitability of the business. Because most people, when they're going to buy a business, they're not seeking to buy a job for themselves. Um, now, you might be doing that. You might say, okay, I'm looking at this business. I'm going to make $50,000 a year as an employee in that business. And then from the profitability, it's going to be added on top of that. I'm perfectly okay with that. That's great. Still look at the numbers and make sure that it can do that. If your goal is to say, hey, I want to grow this business to the point where I don't have to work in the business. I'll work in it for about a year, make sure I understand it left and right, and then hire someone. Run the numbers. Is it possible for you to hire employees and still make money in that business? Or is the margins going to be so small that the profitability is going to be tiny and you're really not going to be making any kind of money uh, in that business when you hire someone to replace you doing that business? Uh, a lot of times that happens, like the business might make 10% profit. Well, if you get to the point where you hire people and you bring in more, you might be able to get that up to 15%. But if you're hiring someone and you're slowly taken out of it, it's 15% going to work for you um, from an owner's draw. You're still going to be able to make enough money uh, out of that business. You need to make sure you're looking at that when you're buying that business to begin with. What is the potential? Uh, we talked earlier about franchises and different businesses. When you're buying a business from somebody, look at the earning potential. If you currently make six figures and you're like, oh, I can't wait to open up this small business and I'm going to create one that makes uh, six figures as well. All right, you're going to make a hundred grand. Make sure you run the numbers. Is it possible in this business? Believe it or not, most small business owners do not have their business anywhere near them being able to make a hundred grand. Yes, they might be able to make 50, 60 grand as an employee in the business, but are they burning off $40,000 additionally in profits? But remember, your profits go to three things, taxes, retained earnings, and then the owner's draw. So really your profitability can't be 40. Your profitability has to be closer to 60, $70,000 in order for you to get to that hundred thousand. Can this business eventually make the type of money that you're hoping it can make? A lot of times people start realizing that as they get into that business and now they're a few years into it, oh my gosh, the most I'm ever going to make in this business is 60 grand. And I really want that hundred grand. My lifestyle is that hundred grand. Look at the numbers before you buy that business. So I'm not telling you not to buy somebody's business because obviously there's some pros that come along with that because they've probably have built a business. You're going to be able to get their customer base and everything else, but run the numbers to make sure that it's going to give you what you think you're buying for that business because that business's value, once again, it's going to be based off of how much money are you having to spend to get the equipment, the products that they have, and then the profitability piece of it. So sometimes people will way overvaluate their business and say, oh, this business is worth $200,000, but there's $50,000 in equipment and they're only making maybe $25,000. Well, 
if they're only making $25,000 and they have $50,000 in equipment, that business is nowhere near that 200,000. Now it might be to you, in which case you can cross that bridge, but you need to make sure that from a number standpoint, when are you going to recoup your money? Because this is an investment in something. And a lot of times you just don't have 200,000 in your pocket. So you're going to have to go look at creative financing where maybe you give them $10,000, $20,000, and then you're going to make payments of $1,000 a month to them or $2,000 a month to them or $5,000 a month to them. What does that do to the business numbers? If the business is only making $2,000 every single month and you've committed to a, uh, giving them a $3,000 payment, now you're at a negative $1,000 when it comes to your profitability every single month, because you're giving them 3000 when your profit before was only 2000 And how much business do you need to create to make up that $1,000 just to get back to a break-even point? Run the numbers. I'm going to say this over and over. If you are going to buy someone else's business, you need to run the numbers because it's going to cost you money to buy that business. And you need to be able to get back to a break-even relatively quickly. That business should pay for itself in a short period of time. And if that business doesn't pay for itself in the next few years and you're owing on that business, guess what? You are not buying the right business. You are spending way too much for that business. You should be able to pay off that business in, like I said, anywhere from two to four years, five years at max. But that means are you committed to running that business and not really making any money over the next five years? Run the numbers. Okay. So I'm not saying don't buy a business, but make sure that you're looking at it from all angles and that you are making a smart purchase and you make sure that what do you need to tweak? What is the reputation they have in the community? What's their customer service like? What's their products like? What are people saying? What's the brand that they've built? In some cases, you're buying a wonderful brand. They just don't know what they're doing. And you know that you can get the profitability up really quickly because you are a numbers person where they are not. And I've seen businesses do very well that way, where the person built a great brand. They were great with customer service. They were just horrible at the numbers behind the scenes. So yes, they didn't make a lot of money, but it was easy to clean it all up to start making some money. Once again, it comes down to knowing the business numbers before you buy that business. So when you're thinking about buying a business, make sure that you look at it from every angle possible. So this way you can make sure that you're making the right decision and you're not regretting that purchase that you made. In our next episode, we're going to start wrapping this puppy up. You're ready to start opening your business. Uh, I'll see you on the next episode. Bye for now.